Well, welcome back. We've finally got to this really big herd of zebras. I've actually driven through them. Uh, just to give you a, a sense of scale of how many zebras there are. So if we go across here, and I'm just gonna, we're just gonna stay wide. We'll zoom in on there. They go from there, and if Senzo, you just follow my hand. And they go from there. No, no, stay wide, stay wide. So they go from, from about there, and they just keep going. Right the way in front of us, and the biggest concentration of them is actually, oh, over there. So let's go across that big group across the valley there. So there's probably three or four thousand zebras around here at the moment. So Sensor's going to zoom in for you there. Look at that. And they're literally spread at almost 180 degrees in front of us. And absolutely astounding. And remember, this is just the local migration. This is not the main migration that is still on its way. They're still around the Sand River. Now, not many wildebeest in this section. Uh, the local migration of wildebeest seem to be closer towards the oh, uh, the top of the ridge and down towards Musiara Gate. Let's get a bit closer to the zebra. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions. This is just it. it. It's it's just it blows your mind every single day when you when you get to go out into a place like this and see incredible sights. And I mean, I get just as excited about the birds and the bugs and the flowers as everything. Well, not so excited about all the flies that come with it, but uh, it's a uh, batting off flies is a small price to play uh, to live your life out in the wild. Now, at the moment, the zebras aren't doing too much. They're sort of just milling about. Hello, milling zebras. Oh, you're having a million... Um, well, no, it's not quite a million of them. There's lots of them milling about. Look at this. We're just going to roll into the zebras. Hi, zebras. What's going on? Seen any lions? I saw one. I couldn't find it again. I'm probably you're quite happy about that. Now, the wonderful thing when you've got such big groupings of zebras is you often see some very cool sort of um, stripe patterns. And we actually saw one who's got a white saddle. I haven't seen it today, but that was quite a long way away from here. But if you look carefully through them, there, there's always some very cool and intricate little patterns. Um, uh, you can see, and each individual zebra is completely different. That one looks like it's got some stripy socks. This one here, these, these, this little group closest to us here, sends, they look like they've got very stripy socks. Hipster zebras. And it's very stripy legs. Let's see. Let's see if there's any scars. Oh, no, that one looks like it's been lion-free lion since birth. Rigi is wondering, uh, what is my best experience on these drives? Well, I've had so many wonderful experiences. I would have to say in the Mara, it's definitely been time with the cheetahs and uh, some of the hunts failed and successful that we have seen. I would say it's my highlight so far, but of course... I'm sure as we spend longer up here, the highlights are just going to become so numerous, we're not even going to be able to choose one at all. Now, it's quite strange at the moment. They're quite, they're quite docile and quite placid and, and actually very quiet. So unlike being in a bigger herd, a herd of wildebeest, we've got that constant nah, nah, nah. Well, there's one lone poor wildebeest. What happened, but? You lose everyone. There's about 5,000 of you just off to the north. There's a topian amongst the zebra there. That's actually, you can see how far away those zebra actually are. You can see the mirage or heat haze across the zebras. That's quite cool. Now we're going to spend... Oh, there's an eland as well. There's an eland bottom there as well. There we go. Now... 
we're going to spend the rest of our day in and around the marsh and this big herd of zebra. Uh, who knows what we might find while we're here. the day or before the sunset safari we will find said big cat and who knows what will happen next and that's the joy of being on a live African safari so from all of us here and from me the only one who actually deserved his coffee this morning we'll see you on the sunset safari